Okay, here's a very brief tutorial on how to change properties and make the virtual trumpet look a little bit different. Okay, so you want to enter the virtual studio and select your virtual trumpet session. That should open up something that looks like this. The look or feel may change over time, but you should have a virtual trumpet and some other type of instrument tools to help render things. Now, you already know, should know how to valve the instrument and play it, but maybe you want to customize your look for a gig. <laughs> and yes, it could be possible to play the instrument on a gig. First of all, what you might want to realize is that every instrument, and a staffed item here is an instrument, uh, this player is an instrument, and obviously the trumpet is an instrument. So every instrument has a right mouse capable area, where you can select uh, properties. Hopefully you can see that there's something there. But what you'll get with these properties uh, are some basic things, or, or these menu items, uh, like mutes or harmony, reload sounds, and properties at the very bottom here. Hopefully that's not too, that's probably washed out. You probably can't see that menu. Anyway, trust me, there's a menu. The way to get to the menu, I typically just right click on the bell. Uh, that's a safe area. Now, if you right-click in some dark space here, you'll probably just get a silver light menu. That's not what you want. You want the instruments menu. So I'll get a properties. And let's open up that properties. That should give you a grid um, of, and it's kind of an advanced thing, but as these properties surface, new things will emerge. There's some advanced properties, some appearance properties, and some harmony properties and interaction and other sorts of things. There's The mutes are actually exposed on the right menu, but they are here if you want to change them. So let's close that. Now when you close your properties, it'll probably reload your sounds. Uh, we'll see about that in the future if we can optimize that. Uh, but let's say I want to just change the color of it. Or let's actually put in a mute. Um, so I'm going to select from the mutes, and I'm going to put in a Harmon mute. And when I put in a Harmon mute, it just sort of appears in there. And if I start blowing, it should play a Harmon mute uh, and trigger those sounds. If I right-click again, click select mutes and open, the mute will come out, and then I can blow. And I'm playing open notes. All right, let's change a couple things with the properties. And again, these may change over time. But I'll right click, and I'm going to select properties. Now, I would like to change the color of my instrument. And there are a few couple, right now, different colors. There may be a default color, but I'd like mine to be blue. So I'll select blue under the appearance section, trumpet color, select blue. I'd like the angle to come down a little bit. And so I'm going to just uh, make a six degree angle and to change things around a little bit. And I'm going to do something maybe a little more advanced. I'm going to, there's another property lurking in here. Uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, the pidget, pivot range sections. I'm, I'm going to go advance and say, don't show those. So now if I close everything out, now I've got a blue trumpet. It's angled at 6% six, 6 and I don't see those range pivot positions. Also note, you can move your instrument around. You can change the scale of it. All of these things can move around as you need to in a performance environment. If you want your, your lick thing up there, you can do that. And there you go. That's how to change some of the aspects of the virtual trumpet. <laughs> It'll sound the same, but it'll look different, and you can pivot it the way you want to pivot it, and hopefully do some creative things with it, and have fun. Okay, that's all for this edition of how to change the virtual trumpet properties. Good luck, have fun.